welcome back. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Mel. And on my channel, we discuss everything to do with makeup, skincare, and sometimes a little bit of style for the over 50 woman. So today is another fun video where I'm using all drugstore products. Well, I'm gonna say there's a couple that I'm sliding in as drugstore because I did buy them at the drugstore. But for the rest of the products, it's all drugstore and it's products that I have have in my stash that I haven't used in a long time. Uh, and then there's also some new products that you guys haven't seen on my channel before. So I'm super excited to, for you guys to see that. So if you wanna see what products I use to create this look, let's get into it. I thought it would be fun to revisit a few products that I, I haven't had on my channel for a long time. I was going through my stash. I'm like, you know what? I haven't tried this product and this product. So that's what I thought I'd do. I will do like a little bit of a uh, trying some new products, but also some older products as well. Uh, for the sake of time, a few things I, that I already have done to my face is I applied my eyebrows, which you can probably see. I used my CoverGirl. This is just the Easy, Be Easy Breezy Brow Ultimate Brow Pencil. I have this in the shade Rich Brown. And I will always have everything uh, linked down below, listed and linked of what I'm using in case you don't catch exactly what it is that I am using. Always keep in mind that if there's prices being uh, talked about, that's always in Canadian dollars because that's where I live is in Canada. I also went in and did my eyelids for the uh, eyeshadow and I am really liking this new uh, NYX Ultimate. This is the Shadow in Liner Primer. This is fantastic. I can't believe how uh, much better my eyeshadow stays on. There's no creasing. The only thing it, that takes a little bit of getting used to is when you start when you first apply it and you kind of blink it's really tacky like it's extremely tacky so just keep that in mind if you use it but it's kind of calming down right now and then if my lips look really really red the only thing I'm using today that is not drugstore related is my buxom the plump shot this is my favorite lip plumping product and I always use this one before I start applying my makeup and it just kind of well you can see it's working right it's kind of giving me that tingly uh, red lip look so I love using that and it just kind of gives those uh, my lips a little bit of plumpness before I start my makeup application so we're gonna go in with primer this is a primer I haven't used on my channel in forever and it's the revolution the glass skin primer and I, I dug it out and I was like, why haven't I used this? And this is such a great primer. If you like that really uh, dewy look, that really hydrated look, uh, which, you know, I love that look. And it's it basically is exactly what it says. It's like glass skin. It's like a liquid. So it's very, very liquidy, very sheer. I find it gives my foundation a really good base and helps it stay on a lot longer than uh, some other primers. It has a little bit of tackiness to it, but you can see how hydrated my skin looks right away. It has a slight, like I'm gonna say slight scent to it. Nothing overpowering whatsoever. It's quite a pleasant smell. I find it just gives me like a, a healthy looking glow and you can use this one if even if you don't want to use any foundation you can just put this on and leave it on like this if you want that really hydrated look i'm gonna say it's probably not the best for uh, someone that has oily skin because you probably don't want that really dewy uh, look going so i am gonna let that just kind of sink into the skin i'm also using a couple of canadian products today i uh they, they actually were recommended by a, a some of my viewers there so I want to I wanted to use those I also had a viewer reach out and ask if I use any sort of color corrector under my concealer I do use color corrector but not every day it depends on the concealer that I'm using if it's a, a concealer that gives me a, a fair amount of coverage then I don't use any sort of uh, color corrector and also if I'm trying a new concealer I don't use a color corrector but the one that I do use is the pixie by Petra a correction this is in the shade a brightening peach so this is the my favorite one out of all uh, concealer or sorry uh, color correctors and it comes in just like this little little tub very tiny but you don't need a lot of this just like a really dense uh, putty 
And sometimes I take my finger and apply it that way. Other times I'll take like a little, uh, like a concealer brush and apply it that way. But I'm not going to use it today just because I am trying a new concealer that I wanted to see how it's going to do without any help. But that's just answering uh, one of my viewers' questions. So that's what I use for foundation today. We're going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. I have this one in the dewy version. I believe there's a matte version as well. So if you're somebody that has oily skin, you'd want to go with that one. Uh, but because I like have more dry skin, I like more of a dewy look. I have this in the shade Buff Bisque, which is a, a light medium neutral shade. So I give this a bit of a shake. Now what I find is very unique about this foundation is the applicator. So it almost, it's almost like a, it looks like a paddle. So it's quite, quite unique. I don't know how hygienic it is necessarily because now I'm going to put that onto my face. But I think what I'll do is instead of applying it all over, I think I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand and we'll apply it that way. What I like about this one is it's very lightweight. It has a bit of a, a scent to it. And I think the only way to describe it is I've heard some people say it almost <laughs> smells like a bit of paint. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's necessarily paint, but it, it's a very uh, unique scent that it has to it. I always uh, take my elf sponge. I prefer it with this foundation. I use a sponge uh, rather than a brush. I just like to have it a bit more sheared out. And I always kind of start in the center of my face and work my way out. This is going to give you a, I'm going to say medium type of coverage. You can build it up to more of a, a full, like a fuller coverage if that's what you prefer. And it's very natural looking. It's not, uh, it never looks cakey on me at all. And I think the combination between the primer and then the foundation, uh, I love the appearance. It just is very uh, glowy and dewy. This one in particular, like I was mentioning, the dewy formula is really great for if you have like normal to dry skin. And I find this one doesn't uh, do it like a lot of settling into my fine lines. And the best part of this whole thing is how affordable this one is. I think in Canadian dollars, it was like seven or eight bucks for this. And you're getting a, a decent amount. It's a 28 mil or a 0.95 fluid ounces. And it has a pretty decent uh, shade range. I think there's like 20 different shades you can get in this one. Okay, so that's all blended in now. Let's see how it's given me a, uh, a nice dewy, glowy, hydrated look, especially all in here. Like I think it just looks lovely. It does such a great job for such an affordable foundation. So love that. Next, we're going to go in with this. This is the first Canadian product we're going to be using. And this is by, I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce this correctly, uh, Quay, Quay Beauty. Uh, it is the line that is by uh, Shoppers Drug Mart, I believe. And it's the Miracle Cover Concealer. So I have this one in the shade Ivory C2. But apparently this is supposed to be really good. It was suggested by uh, one of my friends here on YouTube. So even though she lives in the Czech Republic, her, name, her channel is uh, Julia B. Beauty. She has another uh, mutual friend of ours, a content, another fellow content creator is Canadian and they send products back and forth to each other for birthdays and that sort of thing. Uh, so Julia was trying this concealer and she said it was really, really good and said that I should give it a try. So I went and picked it up. I'm going to say it's like a, it's an okay price for a concealer from the drugstore here in Canada. I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, it was like $14 or so but I'm sure you can get it on sale. So it's like in a little tube. This is like a, a plastic tube here. And then the wand is like a regular, uh, just like a regular concealer wand. So this is where, and I've already, uh, I did put eye cream on. So all of that is already there. I always put uh, eye cream on. And I think that also helps with uh, application, like uh, when you're putting stuff under your eyes. I will be using my uh, Real Techniques uh, concealer brush and starting it right from the corner. Uh, so right from the get go, I can see it's very creamy. Definitely giving me a brighter under eye area. We'll see if it's one of those concealers that I need to uh, powder. Uh, sometimes with some of the concealers, I don't even need to use a powder. It, it dries down pretty nice, uh, but doesn't sink into all of my fine lines. Now I'm just going to take that sponge and blend it in. So first impression, I can see, I just need a tiny little bit more right in here. I can see that there's a little bit of 
darkness still poking through. So I'm just going to apply it right in those hollows. I, I always have troubles trying to cover that darkest part. So I'm going to use my finger this time. Sometimes that helps. So, so far for coverage, I think it has done a, a great job. It's covered that, that darkness under my uh, eyes and it blended in really nice. It, at this point, it's not doing like any creasing that I can see. So we'll keep an eye on it as I'm going through the tutorial. We'll keep an eye on it and see how it works. But so far, so far, so good. So I'm going to go in and just use a little bit of powder just in my T-zone area where uh, I'm going to get just a little bit of natural oil poking through through the day. So we're going to go in with the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Face Powder. I have this one in the shade Creamy Natural, but there is different shades from what I could see now that I've, they've restocked it in the store. There is uh, like a translucent shade and that sort of thing. So I'm probably going to go back and get uh, that shade. But this is a fantastic powder. I know I've talked about it before, but I love this powder. I'm not going to set that concealer. Uh, so far, it's still not creasing. So we're just going to leave it be. <laughs> I don't want to disturb it. And then we're going to start in on the eyes. Now this is very exciting because you know how I showed you uh, quite a few videos ago that I had picked up the Essence, the Taupe It Up uh, eyeshadow little palette. Very affordable, by the way. Well, what I couldn't do with when I was making those videos is the other shades, the other little palettes were all sold out. But I found them. I found some other ones. So this is the... Uh, my rose will go on. Oh, that's such I like I love the names the, the names of the palettes are so cute So my rose will go on just really really lovely Rose shades. I like these because they're a combination of mattes and a, a little bit of shimmer then I have I like to mauve it <laughs> Just you know, I like to move it move it. Well, this is mauve it. So this is pretty pretty shades of some purples and so what I want to try and do is use different colors from each of the palettes. So we'll see how that turns out. I actually haven't figured out what kind of look I want to do today, but we'll just kind of wing it. And this is nothing compares to nude. So this one has my heart as well, because you know that I love all those nude shades. So I think we'll go into the nude palette first. Just let me take the tape off. So I was so happy when I saw that they all were restuck. And there still is other shades too, but these were the ones that kind of stood out for me that I really wanted to try. So I think we're going to go in with this shade right here. And it actually has names on the back, so that is very, very nice. This shade right here, we're going to go in as a transition shade, and I believe it's called 15 Days. And I'm just using my NYX, this is just like a fluffy blender brush. But these little palettes are just excellent for affordability. The quality is great. And these were, I think this was like six or seven dollars. I'll have the price um, listed somewhere here for you guys, but it was just amazing. And I couldn't believe when I tried like the Taupe It Up one first and how well, you know, they applied and everything. It was just fantastic. And like I've shown you guys before, like they even have little, like little mirrors. I, have yet to find any sort of really affordable little eyeshadow palette that does all of that has the little mirror with it and I think I've mentioned that before there's some like more expensive palettes that doesn't e they don't even have a mirror and I usually just take it right on my whole entire lid right from uh, like my lid right up into my brow bone if you tap your brush off really well, I don't get any fallout either. So that's remarkable. So we're going to go into another palette and I want to use this gray shade right here on the very bottom. And I believe that is called, just give me a second here. That is called Catching. This is the A502. This is like a crease uh, shader brush on the outer part here. And I'm just going to drag that down and then I'm going to bring it right above my crease. Not right in my crease, but right above it. I hope everybody is having a really good summer. I must say, like, now that summer is finally here, we had a really rainy spring here. And even the whole month of June, it's been really rainy here. Uh, so this last, I'm going to say the last two weeks, it's been pretty decent. Uh, but the unfortunate thing that comes with the nice sunny weather and the humidity is now we are into mosquitoes. 
Oh my goodness, you guys, we are just being overrun with mosquitoes. It is just awful. I, I, if, so, if somebody was to take a, a film of me the other day, it was just so funny because I was out in the backyard trying to just, all I wanted to do was water. We have some bushes back there and also some flower pots around the, in the back there. And uh, you cannot even get out the back door. Like I, you, you quickly go out, close the door. And then I went over to get the hose. And as soon as I started uh, spraying, well, now that disturbed them. And now I have mosquitoes everywhere. So I said to my husband, I said, the people would have been laughing at me because I'm, I'm trying to spray the flowers and everything. And I'm going like this and waving, trying to get mosquitoes. And they're just attacking me. I've got, I even put like a hood on everything, just anything to just get out there and water. And oh my goodness. Wow. They are just crazy, crazy, crazy this year. We had a bit of a reprieve last year because uh, with it being so hot here, uh, we didn't really have a lot of mosquitoes. 2020, we had a bunch of mosquitoes, but uh, yeah, we had a bit of a reprieve last. And also we had so many like uh, wildfires and stuff around here that it just kind of cleared out the mosquitoes but yeah this year they've come back with a vengeance and oh my goodness so we can't even sit out in the backyard at all it's awful so hopefully that it's not going to last too much longer because I am just so tired of the mosquitoes they're awful okay so from the pink palette we're gonna go in with this shade right there and that is called far and I want to actually put that kind of on my lid and then I'm going to take it kind of into the crease. I just wanted to use a bunch of the different shades from each of the palettes. I don't know how this is all going to look, but hey, you never know. You never know how it's all going to turn out. Oh, that's really pretty. That is a really pretty pink shade. And I'm just using my uh, BK Beauty, the 206, but it's also really good for blending. So I think I want to put some shimmer because, you know, I can't go without having any sort of shimmer on my lids. So we'll go in with this glittery shade right there. That is called Spaces Between Us. And that I'm just going to use my finger because that's usually the best way. And I'm just going to take it right across. Okay, well I successfully, I think I used a few, you know, shades from the different palettes. Uh, I'm going to go in and do some tight lining. So I'm using my L'Oreal The Liner, absolute favorite one, as you guys know. And this is in the shade Noir Cashmere. And we're just going to tight line up here. Okay, so I finished tight lining and I just took my little uh, BK Beauty. This is just a like a smudger brush. And I took uh, three of the matte shades from the all three palettes and I just ran that underneath my uh, lower lash line. Uh, so next we're going to go in with a new pencil. So this is by the uh, Canadian brand Marcel. And I've used quite a few of their products and I also have a whole, uh, I'll put it over here, I have a whole video dedicated to using uh, some of the Canadian brands like Marcel, the Swatchier, uh, Annabelle. Uh, so if you are Canadian and you're interested in that, I have the uh, video as well as that I have like a playlist. So if you go down to where uh, it has like on the, on my banner, it have like playlists. I have a Canadian uh, brand playlist that you can go and check out all the videos that I've done uh, for Canadian brands. I really enjoy using like Marcel products. They, they are phenomenal products. Uh, Lee Swatche, you know, that's kind of like my OG Canadian luxury brand. Love that. And as well, there's, I have a few Annabelle uh, products as well that I use. Uh, so this one I wanted to use and in, in a different shade because it, I wanted to try something different in my waterline. So this is called the uh, Waterproof Eyeliner. And I have this in the shade Blue Lagoon. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. And the price is pretty reasonable. Like they are, the, I believe this one was like $11 Canadian. So that's quite comparable to other uh, pencils that I use, like my L'Oreal. I think it's uh, my L'Oreal one is regular price, like $11 or $12. So very, uh, very affordable and they are hyperallergenic and just a great, great product. So I've never used one of their actual eyeliners. So we're gonna give that a try. It's supposed to be really good for lasting all day, which I really like that in my waterline. But I just wanted something different other than, I always use like my Rimmel, my nude shade. So I just wanted to try something different. So for mascara today, we're gonna go in with the Essence Lash Princess. 
This is the sculpting volume uh, one. I believe there is like a whole bunch of different types. Uh, I, I prefer this uh, purple one. I know that there's like a, a green one and I think like a pink one. I'll put a picture of them all over here, but uh, I like this one in particular. It does give me that really uh, volumizing, uh, lengthening, and again, really, really affordable. I usually don't have any issues with any clumping and lasting throughout the day. Okay, so there is one coat. Okay, so I just wanted to show you my mascara is applied now and how lovely that mascara is. It's really a great mascara. I am gonna throw on some lashes. I'm going to use my Ardell Natural Lashes. I love this style. It, they are very natural looking. So I'm gonna throw those on and I will be right back. But see what I mean that they look just really like natural looking lashes. They're not too overdone. I don't usually wear like more like really glam, dramatic lashes. I'd like more of a natural lash. So these are my absolute favorites for that kind of look. So next we're gonna go in with the bronzer and that is my Milani. This is just like an OG favorite of mine. It's been around forever. This is the Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. I have this one in the shade Suntan. So this is the darkest one and I originally had uh, picked it up for more of a contour shade. And then I really started liking it just as a, as a bronzer. Blends in nicely onto the skin. It's very, like, very silky, uh, like matte. There's no, as you can see, like there's no sparkles or anything like that in there. So I really like that. I'm just using my e.l.f. This is just like an e.l.f., like a bronzing brush. I've had it forever. It just has a little bit of an angle on it. So I do like using this one. And I just kind of dab it in there. I find this one is really blendable and there's no streaks at all like when i'm putting it on it's not a streaky bronzer i think there was two other shades of this one and it gives me just like a really nice sun tanned look like a sun kiss look without doing all the damage to my skin of <laughs> being out in the sun <laughs> so what i like to do is i take it right from my forehead and then i take it down into almost like a three shape so take it on there and then I take it just kind of running it down under my jawline and it lasts all day. Like it's one of those ones that just it doesn't really fade on me, which I really like that. And then I always kind of take it right on my nose. When you're putting on bronzer, it's, it's thinking of the areas that the sun would naturally hit your face. So on top of the nose is one of those ones and just on my chin. So the blush I'm going to be using today is one of my oldest ones I think that I have this was actually a favorite of mine I'm thinking like a couple years ago I had it like as my year-end review of one of my favorite blushes and sorry the packaging looks you know pretty beat up but it's the Burt's Bees just blush simply blush and it's well used although I haven't hit pan on this one yet I'm surprised I've been using a bunch of different ones I guess so that's why but it's this is the uh, shade that I really enjoy using the most it is called shy pink and I believe there's just like a, a few other shades, but this one just gives a beautiful, natural uh, finish to the skin. Very pigmented, blends really easily. And I just kind of stipple it on. I take it right back into my hairline. And I say I'm gonna stop kind of right. I don't want it coming any farther down than like into where my iris is. I don't want it coming down that far. But it's, uh, again, it's one of those products that's, uh, like very environmentally friendly, like it's cruelty free. It's made with some natural ingredients like bamboo, honey. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous blush, especially for like a powder blush. It's never like it never looks chalky at all. Now, if you're looking for an amazing drugstore affordable highlighter, I've got you covered. This is the Catrice More Than Glow highlighter. Has a cute little flower on the front. This is the shade Supreme Rose Beam. But what this, this one just blows me away because how pigmented it is, that is the shade right there. Like, look at this, you guys. My goodness, look at that. <laughs> that is just so amazing. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna go in and very, very lightly put this on our cheeks because it's like one of those pigmented ones. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is like, 
five, six, seven bucks, something like that. Really, really affordable highlighter. Uh, but I like how it's it's different because it's like a really like a pressed powder type of highlighter. Like look at that. But it's not like from what you saw on my finger, and then from what you can see, I mean, it's not like it's a like a holy smokes kind of highlighter. It's pretty subtle, and this sucker will last all day. Like that that highlighter is not going anywhere. So I wasn't sure exactly what kind of look for lips I was going to do today because I, until I actually get the eyes done, it's one of those things I, I bring a bunch of lipsticks in here and then as I'm doing the eye makeup and then it's like, okay, well that's not going to work. So I had originally planned for this, I bought a new shade of the Milani, that really great lipstick. This is just in the shade Poppy. But I think I've got just a little bit too much going on with the eyes today for that color. So we're going to go with a more neutral lip. But these are going to be uh, new ones. I haven't tried these lip shades yet. So we're first going to try a new lip liner. And I picked this one up from Rimmel. This is the Lasting uh, Finish Exaggerate in the shade Rose Addiction. See, and I like it when they do this stuff like this. They have, uh, so the store has put like a, a tamper proof. Uh, like piece of tape on there so you know it's not going to be opened and you are the first one using it oh okay so that's that's different I wasn't expecting it to be it's like one of those really slanted really pretty rose shade so I thought that would be nice other than my my neutral ones I always have going I like how uh, it has that really precise tip so it helps get like right on your lip line. So I just want your input a little bit. If you would be interested to see a like a haul type of video, I did pick up recently some drugstore products, just not makeup, but I also have some skincare products that I've picked up. And then I also have a few products that I picked up from, well, I'm going to say, I shouldn't say a few, I picked up a lot of products from Sephora. I had a coupon and then I used some gift cards. So I picked up a, a some products from Sephora is what I'm going to say. But I also picked up a bunch from the drugstore because they were having a sale as well. So let me know if you, if that's something you guys want to see. If you just want to see like a haul. I mean, they'll eventually you'll see them on my, on my channel at some point. But it may be a while. I'm finally, finally getting back into my filming schedule. I had a little bit of a lull there. It was just, it was really hard to try and get some videos made. We went back east it was my son's grad, so we went back there and visited him for a while, and then um, we had to go, and my mother-in-law has now been put into a home, uh, so we had to kind of deal with that as well. So it's just been a very busy time, and uh, so now I'm, I'm trying to get back into my filming schedule, but trying to come up with some ideas is always, you know, one of those things of what, you know, what, what it is that my audience wants to see. So that would be super helpful if you can leave me a comment down below of what uh, what type of video you would like to see next. I know a bunch of you actually really like these drugstore ones, so that's why I'm trying to do a few more drugstore ones. Okay, so that's a very pretty shade. I do like that. That turned out nice. That's a gorgeous lip shade. So surprisingly, I had picked up these Revlon lipsticks, and then that was just around the same time that I heard about their... Uh, bankruptcy. Now what I've heard is they're actually just going to go through a like a restructuring. They're not actually like closing down everything is you know done and that sort of thing. They're just doing restructuring. So as far as I know the brand Revlon is staying uh, which is also good for Elizabeth Arden. So Elizabeth Arden is kind of like their parent company and if you guys know my channel you've seen me use their the Elizabeth Arden eye cream is my absolute that is my holy grail eye cream that's the only one I use, and uh, it was I was going to be very sad. <laughs> it was going to be very, very sad if they were going to be gone. It's I've tried so many eye creams, and it, that is the only one that I love. I'll If I can find the video, I've had it in a few videos, but if I can find the video, I'll put it up here for you guys. So I had picked up these Revlon uh, lipsticks, and I had seen one of them I saw, I think it was Angie from Hot and Flashy. She showed one of these. And then also another YouTuber that I watch. She had this one shade on her channel as well. <laughs> Trying to get it open as I'm talking to you guys here. Uh, so I, I'm not sure exactly what one will go with here because they're both like a nude shade. I just don't know the exact color. 
So this one is Revlon Bear It All 755. It's a cream uh, lipstick. So that's a more of a pinky undertone, but very pretty. That's very, very pretty. That's a gorgeous nude shade. And then the other one that I have here is Revlon. This is a matte. This is Untold Stories. So that it's that one there. That one has more of an orange undertone to it. But again, very, very pretty, very natural looking. I think you know what the one I'm going to go with is that bear it all just because i still have that i'm looking like at my eyes with the with that uh, waterline color it's so bold <laughs> so I, I want to kind of tone it down a little bit so we'll go in with this one i do have quite a few products from revlon I'm, it's not generally a brand that i gravitate to but I do like the few products that I do have from the brand. I really do enjoy and I use them on a, you know, a continuous basis. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that. That That's a nice shade. And now this isn't, I'm going to say this isn't technically a drugstore product. It is a little, it's a little bit on the pricier side, but I'm going to put it in with this because it is, I did buy it at the drugstore. In all, in all fairness, I did buy it at the drugstore. So <laughs> it's the Lancome Juicy Tubes Ultra Shiny Hydrating Lip Gloss. And I have this in the shade 04 Miracle. So it's like a nice little pink shade. But I don't know if these are, are new or if this is something that comes out once a year. I just saw a stand of them when I was in, you know, perusing the drugstore and I saw this and was on sale so i thought what the heck so it's a very gorgeous gorgeous pink juicy tubes okay so i'm I'm assuming it's it's supposed to make my lips really juicy <laughs> let's see so you just kind of squeeze it squeeze it up the top there oh the scent oh the scent is beautiful oh it smells like candy i love it when stuff smells like candy okay oh wow Wow, these are really juicy. So the only thing I can see is it kind of gives me, you know how it kind of gives you that gummy kind of texture on it. So I think this would be really good to have. I'm just trying to find a Kleenex here. Hold on. Okay, so I think this would be really good if it was by itself. I'm going to just take, <laughs> there, that just took off some of the excess. Uh, yeah, if you if you just wanted to have this on your lips without having lipstick or anything like that on it, I think this would be really fun. Otherwise, it just kind of gets that that goopy. But I mean, it's that's not that's not the actual product. There's nothing wrong with the actual product. It's just uh, picking up the lipstick. So all I do is like what I just showed you is I just kind of get a piece of Kleenex or whatever, and then that just takes off all that excess. So I'm quite happy with how everything turned out and with a few of these newer products that I used. Uh, definitely what I'm really, really impressed with actually is this Marcel uh, waterproof eyeliner. This has not budged in my waterline since I put it in. And I've, I don't know, I've been farting around doing other stuff after, after I did my hair. And like I've, I've had this on, I'm gonna say probably a good hour, hour and a half now since I initially put it on and I can't believe how well it's, it's staying on. That's fantastic. So I think I'm going to go get a few more shades of this because if it can, if it's going to stay like that through the day, that's great. Uh, so far I'm really liking the concealer. It's not doing those little, uh, shark fin little, uh, you know, folds in my skin in the inner corners. It's stayed on, you know, like it hasn't been doing any creasing. It's not accentuating my fine lines. I'm going to say it's not as uh, hydrating as some of other, my, like my other concealers that I've used in the past. It's definitely like not a, it's not like a drying concealer, but it's not an overly hydrating one as well. It's just kind of in the, in the middle there. But I do like that it's not accentuating my fine lines and it's you know like the uh, it's done a good job of taking care of that dark pigmentation under my eyes so so far this is getting a big thumbs up uh, not a new 
a foundation to my channel, but it's a foundation I haven't used in a long time. The Wet n Wild foundation, really liking that. It, it's one of those tried and true foundations. It, it's one of those ones that just doesn't steer me wrong. It's consistent, does its job, covers up what I want it to cover up, just kind of gives me a, like a natural finish. So really like that one. Loving this little highlighter. It's amazing. Like I, I, I just love this. It's, it's such a beautiful highlighter and just gives me the, the right amount of glow without looking uh, too dry and chalky. So love that. The combination of the Rimmel lip liner and also the Revlon, uh, this shade in particular, the Bare, Bare It All. Love this shade. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade for if you really like like a nude shade. This is beautiful, has just like a hint of a pink undertone to it. So really liking that. And then, like I said, I do like this Juicy Tubes uh, lip gloss. Just be forewarned, if you do use it with lipstick, you're just gonna have to kind of dab it on and then take some of it off because it kind of gives you that gummy look. Now, last but not least, are all of these little eyeshadows. There's my, the original that started it and then just love them. These are these are fantastic little eyeshadows. Look at how pigmented they are. Like they did such a beautiful job. Gorgeous, gorgeous little eyeshadow palettes. So drop me a comment down below if you guys have used some of this stuff. I do read all of the comments and I know you guys do send me some suggestions. I drop them down and if I can find them, I will try and purchase them. And if you're not already, I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel and becoming a little part of my world here on YouTube. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. That also helps my channel out a lot. Just kind of helps the algorithm kind of know that you guys like the videos and that it just helps promote the video. You can also follow me over on Instagram and Twitter, or Facebook. I have all of those. Oh, that reminds me. I was going to mention I have a bunch of new uh, subscribers from my uh, Facebook page. And uh, what happens sometimes, because I've had a few of you mention that you can't, uh, see the links down in the Facebook under the video. And sometimes what happens, I'm not sure, it won't let me insert my links like for the products. Now I was able to do it on my last video. I'm not sure why it kind of accepted it there, but other videos, it just hasn't accepted all of my links. So my only suggestion is if you have seen me on Facebook, then just go over to my YouTube actual channel and everything is always down in the description box there. You shouldn't have a troubles uh, finding anything there. And as always, I hope everybody has a great week and a great life and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.